a recipe for vanilla crinkles. And the reason they're called crinkles is that when they come out of the oven, the tops are all cracked and crinkly. So I'm going to start with one cup, two sticks, eight ounces, soft room temperature butter, three egg yolks. I have two and a half cups of flour. I have one teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, which I'm going to put into the flour. And I'm going to mix that up and put it aside for the moment. I also have one and a quarter cups of sugar and some of my homemade vanilla. One full tablespoon, really vanilla -y. So let's start by getting our butter in our mixer. You can see how soft it is. And we'll get that going on the mixer. And I'm going to add the, the uh, sugar to that. And the vanilla. Now the egg yolks. Before I add the flour, I'm going to scrape it down. This just ensures that everything gets blended up well. And now add the flour. Pretty easy so far. Pretty easy. Done with that guy for now. And just clean off my paddle. And now I have cookie sheets that I'm lining in parchment paper. And I'm going to just make small balls. About that big. What is that? Inch inch and a quarter and you want to they are going to spread so it'll end up being that way so three across on a sheet this size you fit about a dozen cookies on per sheet and I'm just going to keep on rolling them until all my dough is used up They're all rolled out. I got 56 cookies out of this. My oven is on at 350, and we're going to bake these now for anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes until they're a light golden on the top. These cookies are going to be crisp on the outside and soft on the inside. So I'm going to put them in the oven, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how they look when they come out of the oven and how we decorate them. Here are our vanilla crinkles out of the oven, but they're way too warm to... Uh, finish off with the decorations. So I'm going to wait a little while. You can see how nice and brown they are. They are crunchy on the outside and they will be soft on the inside. We're going to make a nice little topping. 
but these need to cool for about 10 or 15 minutes before we can do that. So I'll come back and I'll show you how we're going to decorate them. Our vanilla crinkles are all cooled off and I've got some of them here. And this is why I called them vanilla crinkles because the top kind of cracks and crinkles and they're just really good this way. But we're going to decorate them. But before we do, I'm going to tell you that you could have varied this recipe. To it, you could have added chopped pecans, chopped pistachios, chopped walnuts. You could have even added mini chocolate chips. This cookie is pretty versatile. But for this reason, I'm making these for the holiday, and I'm going to do it this way. I have in this bowl one package of good quality vanilla chocolate bits, not the candy melts. This is the real chocolate. I melted it in the microwave. It took approximately one minute and 30 seconds, but I did it on 30 second intervals for the first two times and then 10 second intervals until I knew I wasn't going to burn it. And I just kept stirring it up in between to make sure it was melted and get all the lumps out. Now I have some sprinkles, some holiday sprinkles here, and I also have some peppermint bits. Now I bought these peppermint bits in the aisle with my regular chocolate chips. They don't, they're not there all year round. They look like this when they come out of the bag. They are peppermint flavor. You can see the flecks of uh, red in there. And, but they were too big to just stick on the cookie, so I cut them up a little bit. But I just wanted to show you what they look like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my cookie, and dip it in the white chocolate. This can get kind of messy on your hands. If you don't want to use white chocolate, you could have used uh, just a regular confection of sugar, a milk icing. But this is the holidays and I want to use some really good stuff. So I'm going to do just a few of these. I'll do four to start with. And then I take these for flavor more than anything. Put a few of these on. And you can see when I put this white on white, it doesn't really pop or look all that fabulous for the holidays. You want some color here. That's why I have these sprinkies. I'm going to put a few of those on. And you're going to get a lot of white chocolate and a subtle taste of peppermint in there. And once these set, these look very pretty on a platter. So they're simple cookie, they're delicious cookie. They're heavy in the vanilla and that's really the whole point. These are really delicious and I hope you try them and I hope they grace your table this holiday season.